Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video is something completely different than what I normally do. Today we're doing what is new in Green State Roleplay. There's a bunch of new stuff now. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but new stuff kept on coming out. and might make it even more enjoyable to play for all members. If you guys are interested in joining Green State Roleplay, the link is down in the description below. It's 16 years or older, it's the age requirement. And uh, you, you have to be part of the server for seven days before you can be trained and patrol as a law enforcement officer. We have a bunch of new stuff today, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, everyone. So, the first thing I want to go over that is brand new in Green State Real Play is our fee menu. We got a new and improved fee menu. What that is, it's it's a menu that you can spawn your vehicles, your characters, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so what there is now has categories. So you can have character categories. As you guys can see here, our BCS is billion, uh, Grave CPD, Los Santos PD, Pulled Up PD, San Andreas Fire Rescue, San Andreas Game Warden. San Andreas State Police, San, uh, San Andreas Shores PD, and Transit Police. And you get the same thing, I'm pretty sure, for... No, not for the weapons, but you get the same thing for vehicles as well. You have vehicle classes, and you have vehicle categories. And you can find all your vehicles all in one right here in the classes or category. So you have BCSO, Gibson Dean, Green State Road, our not Green State, uh, Grape Sea Police Department, Osano's Police Department, Polito Bay Police Department, uh, my unmarks I have saved, Game Warden, State Police, and PD. Uh, Sandy Shores PD. So yeah, I mean, that's it's pretty basic, pretty awesome. Let's see, we can now see all my players. So yeah, let's get into the next Alrighty, everyone. So here's the next thing. We got our Sandra's Fire Rescue uniforms. We got brand new Fire Rescue uniforms. They are still a way in a work in progress, so there's still a couple things missing here and there. So right now we are in our station gear. Um, I have this set up as a medic, so we got our blue pants with our trauma shears, scissors, box cutter. We got our uh, station top on, and we got a radio strap and our emergency gloves on with our watch sunglasses i'm sorry about the weather guys i have no way of changing the weather the weather is just rainy so yeah this is our um station here Alrighty, guys so this is our turnout gear for san Andreas fire rescue it's a pretty basic gear i mean it, it, you just got your turn off pants you got your uh boots jacket uh, I do put a radio strap on. There's only one size radio strap. That's how it looks the way it does. We also got our helmet, and when we do fire, you gotta make sure it says San Andreas fire on it, not Los Santos or Plain County. And they have three black helmets. So, yeah, this is our San Andreas fire rescue on the uniforms. Alrighty, everyone. So, this is our another new uh, uniform. And this uniform is San Andreas Game Warning A has been updated, it's new and improved, and it just looks so much better. So yeah, this is what our uh, new Game Warning uh, uniform hat uh, looks like. You can get, a, I believe, a campaign hat or the um, ball cap, which is what I have. You got a green top, the Game Warning badge, and uh, uh, packs on the side. And these nice black cargo pants with your normal style top boots. Alrighty guys, so the next new thing in Green State Roleplay is uh, there is new houses, new interiors and everything in Green State Roleplay. Such as this house right here behind me at 415 on Westmere Drive. It, has, it even has a for sale sign. We're going to come around here, it has a garage door. Perfect interior. You go into the garage. You can get a, you can access the backyard through the garage. And if we go inside, we go right in here, right when we 
walk in, we walk into the living room slash dining room. Over here on our right is a bedroom. And this bedroom has a bathroom. Now, let's go back over here. Over this way. You got a nice little hangout area. You got a nice large kitchen with a little bar. This way, you have your access entrance point, entry point to the backyard. You got a pool in the backyard. Looks like you got nice large windows to be a pool, but this is actually sliding door. Walk in and out. Go back here. This is the garage. The garage actually goes into the house. Then back here, you also got a flat top grill. I'm showing you guys just, just the, this one house, but there's a few more that are pretty similar to this one, or exactly the same. Alrighty, everyone, now we're going to get in our vehicle, and we're just going to drive around for a minute. Uh, the next new thing Green State Roleplay is the AI. Not sure if you guys noticed, but the AI was driving insane. Now they're driving nice and peacefully, nice and calm. They're not going insane, they're not doing anything, so. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So that has been fixed. Now let's get on to the next thing. Alrighty, everyone. So the next new thing in Green State Roleplay is the Sandy Shores Airport. Now, since this is a full-blown airport, this is uh, classified as an international, Sandy Shores International Airport. This is a brand new airport into the server. Before we just had a replacement, now we have this. It's a nice airport. You got your rental cars right behind flywheels. You come in through the gate. You got your air traffic control tower. You got your beacons. You have your landing, um, Height markers. Got your little office area. Got your terminal. And then you can walk right out of here. Your planes would be here, over here. This is the fire, uh, City Shores Fire Station, I'm pretty sure, uh, for the airport. So. Ah. Or your um, transit vans and stuff like that. You got two helipads, just a bunch of fuel, a bunch of hangers for your small little planes. We're gonna go into no clip real quick, guys. And yeah, we got a nice long runway. Nothing too different about this. You can see it at night very, very well, though. We got our gate down here on our entryway. That is a custom entryway road and just the standard runway. It's all fenced in now, so nobody can jump in or anything anymore. Alrighty, guys. Let's get in, uh, let's go to the next thing. Alrighty, everyone. So the next new thing here in Green State Roleplay is the motel on Route 68. The motel on Route 68 is brand new. It was just added just a couple days ago. And it has interiors. It, it's it's a really nice. It's a really nice motel. Um, so we're just coming. You got the office right here, which is not an interior. But right over here, all the rooms are. So all the rooms are pretty much looking the same. So we'll just go into this one room to show you guys around. You got a nice uh, uh, a nice bed there, like a queen or a king. You got your bathroom just a tub which I found a little strange but it's okay you got a nice little box TV man I miss those things and a nice little closet space so yeah this is what most rooms look like you have a nice little clock over there as well alrighty guys we'll see you guys the next new thing alrighty everyone the next new thing is the Bolenbrook Penitentiary uh, the the prison in, uh, in Green State Railplay. This 
kind of this is a large interior so we're gonna definitely not flip around but we get, we can just go right inside um you got your office your lobby area for visitors and right through these doors to the left you got lockers the security area to the right you get the they call it the lonely hall so here's the locker room nice extremely large locker room uh, you can RP as a guard and uh, there's transit vans that's been in the server for quite a while so yeah we just go this way this is the uh, lonely hall they call it so we just go right through here right down this way to this door which brings you right outside you keep going this way, go through this door. This is like in our waiting room, it looks like a little lobby, visitation booth. It's all in here, so that's the visitor's lobby. And then here's the visitation booth, so that you can talk to the prisoners, families, or friends. You come in through this door, you go into the security area for this, and right through this door here it's a large open room so you can do whatever you want in here I mean you can put a table in there with the prop menu and stuff like that so you go in here go into this door and you got your like security ultra security room really and through here yeah so can exit this way, head of security's office, go through this door it looks like, and it brings you right outside. We'll check out the head of security's office real quick, which is just a large office with a TV in it. This door can open. This is another locker room. I'm pretty sure this is for the guards. And, uh, Let's go through this door. You can exit outside. There's my thing. Prisoners can go in there. And there's that. So now let's head back over this way. So here's your armory, which is pretty nice. Go over here, you got your stairs that you can go upstairs in. Interrogation rooms this way, you got interrogation room one, which is just a basic room with the camera, table, and chair. So you got about two interrogation rooms. Come in here. Security, accounting, director, got your prison director. This door, you got briefing room. A nice little briefing room right here. Door bring you downstairs, but we're gonna go over here to the medical block. So it has its own little doctor's office. So, like, you got a nice little hospital for the inmates. So, yeah. So. Cut. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to go look at the cell blocks. All these cell blocks, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cell blocks. All seven cell blocks are, are interiors. 
We're just going to go into one of them because all the cell blocks look the same. So let's just go into this one here and take a look at what it looks like. So you go through these doors. You go gate that lets you in and you have your cells just like a normal prison lobby just in your cell halls and all that so you got a bunch of cells they're double bed triple bed cells actually they're just double bed cells cells sorry and then off over here you got a security area Brings you in here, which has like yeah, a bunch of different areas. So this is where your attendance sit. The oopsies. This is where your attendance sits. The lock doors let people in and out through this way. The window just the outside. Then we go back through here. Got it a bit. Actually, there's an arcade right here. This brings you upstairs. This is your lookout point for security. We looked out all over cells and everything. You can also control every cell there. Alrighty guys, let's get on to the new thing that is the Bolenbrook Penitentiary new interior. Alright everyone, so the next new thing is the Sandy Shores Hospital. Sandy Shores Hospital used to be over where um, 1023 is, 1024. But now it's here at 1025. So we just walk right over here and check this interior out. It's a nice hospital for the small little town of Sandy Shores. You can go right through these doors. You got your reception. You got your lobby. Um, through these doors, you got your cafe, which you could work as as a chef for the cafe, which is pretty cool. Nice little pizza oven, standard stoves and ovens. Now this way, we'll go left. This brings us into an office. So you got a bunch of different offices. This door here, you get the physician's office, so like you can just have your normal doctor's appointments and stuff like that there. Got another physician's office, but they're pretty much the same. You got a pharmacy, which you can role play as a, as somebody that works for the pharmacy. And here you got all your med. You get the medication room, storage room, for all the medications. You got your lab, laboratory room. You do all your tests, your blood work, urine tests, stuff like that. Now right here we got a break room for all the employees. A nice large break room. Water dispenser, tiny little TV couch, a couple chairs, some books. Now here's the ICU, the intensive care unit for all the patients that are in ICU. This one only has four. I think this is one room. This is the operating room. Character can have surgery, stuff like that, where they need any type of operation. When they're gonna get the operation done, they go in there. Here's another operating room, basically the same exact thing, looks exactly the same. door that goes outside into the parking lot then you got your patient rooms which is all your general ER uh, 
picture display. So let's go this way. We're going to go upstairs. There's a little stairwell to bring you upstairs. And this brings you right outside to the rooftop to where our helipads are. So yeah, guys. I believe that's all. We're going to go back down real quick. Alrighty, everyone. So that was our Sandy Shores Hospital. So let's now go over to our next place. Alrighty, guys. So this is the next new place for uh, in Sandy Shores for Green State Roleplay. So this is our new sheriff station for Green State Roleplay. There's no more of that uh, old brick building uh, that we originally had. So let's just go right into the entrance and take a look around. So inside here, you come right into uh, the lobby, the lobby area, There's benches, you got a conference room, a nice, nice small little conference room because it is a small area. Uh, yeah, you got your bathroom. This door, you got a stairwell that goes down to the cells. You got a stairwell that goes upstairs. You guys, you got a nice little service garage back here. So if you, you can work as a, a mechanic for the police department, for the sheriff's office, I should say, actually, and service police cars. Now we go in this way. We can go through these doors here. This door here, you can bring you into like paperwork room and then you can be the receptionist or the or the sheriff's office go through this you got your locker room you got your armory it's a nice little spot there a couple little vending machines in here you can work as to the as the guard and for the armory for the PD the sheriff's office now back here brings you into the transport area driving area to store your vehicle out back there's a couple different parking areas for police cars so, yeah. so that's up that's second floor so let's go down to the basement this is where the cells are if we went back inside, we would have just came downstairs because that's where that little stairwell is. Now we're going to go straight ahead, go down a little more flight of stairs. You got your, got your little area where you take pictures to get yourself in. Then over here, you got a couple holding cells. So, yeah. A couple little holding cells this way. There's more holding cells on the back side of this. So a security guard station. Now to our left, we'll go this way. This is our evidence room for the sheriff's office. Now. Turn this outside. Go down this way. You got your interrogation room, you got your listening area, different place that you do the interrogation. 
Now let's head upstairs. So that's everything in the basement. Here, first floor. Now let's go up to the second floor. So you got your nice little kitchen. For the PD, you got a little exit way that brings you outside. Nice little porch lounge area. This door here, you got a bunch of different offices. You can go down to the lobby. Stuff like that. You got your bathrooms. You got three different bathrooms up here. Your detective room. Which there is somebody in there. Briefing room or briefings before shifts. Go upstairs and believe this brings us outside because this also has a helipad, so you can land a nice little helicopter for the PD. Alrighty, guys. So that's the new sheriff's, the Blaine County Sheriff's Station. Now I'll see you guys with the next thing. Alrighty everyone, so the next new thing here is the boathouse over here on Marina Drive at 1017. So this boathouse is now a restaurant. It's like a full blown restaurant. You can walk right inside. You got your little uh, receptionist there. You got a bar. You have a wardrobe area. Large, uh, not really large, but you got a nice little kitchen. You got your loading dock area where you keep all your goods and stuff. Back stock. Oops. Um, yeah, then we go through this door here. Brings you up back. I'll show you guys what's back there in just a couple minutes. If I can get to this door, it'd be great. So now if we go upstairs, this is a full blown restaurant. You got your waiter station right here. You got a few tables here. You got your fancy dining here. You got your wine room, beverage room. Um, around this corner, I believe it's just a toilet. have a balcony where you can also serve outside now this is kind of uh, this is San Andreas based but it's Vermont themed so you're not gonna want to sit out here in the next few weeks it's gonna be a little chilly it's gonna be cold snowy stuff like that so yeah now I'll see you guys in a minute with I'll be showing you guys up back Alrighty, everyone. So now this is the other addition to the boat uh, area. So we got a working status board of the, uh, the boat status. Like right now, it's sunny. It's only it's only going to sunny, dark, rainy, uh, stormy. If it's stormy, it'll say over here where it's the status. It'll say closed. Um, you don't want a boat in thunder and lightning. So we get on here. This is a loading dock. Uh, no, loading dock. My apologies. This is a boat landing, so where you can launch your boat. Um, down over here. It's another little area. I believe this is the boater's lounge. So you can just hang out. That's a little PLS ship, actually. So yeah. It's a little dealership. So that's the boat landing, and this place is actually huge. We're gonna go into no clip and just continue on. So you got a bunch of docks, like this one here. Um, they're all very similar. You got a dock to dock your boat, to walk up. You got a nice little more docks all up here. You got a nice little lifeguard station, which is pretty cool. Lifeguard vehicles coming soon to the server. So 
a nice little lifeguard station. The locker room. I believe the staircase works, so you can go upstairs. You got your watch. You got your watchtower. Right over here, you got something really cool that's brand new. You got the Alamo Sea Bridge, which we're going to call the Alamo Bridge. Because you can drive or walk on it as their dedicated sidewalk or the bridge. Now right over here, we got a basketball court, a couple basketball courts, and a couple of little parking spots for the courts and the pier. So yeah, and then right over here, there's a, there's a bunch of these around us over. These are fire towers, so. That's the new and improved Sandy Shorts, guys. And uh, see you guys with the next thing. Alrighty, everyone. So this is our Blaine County Sheriff's Office fleet. We got a, got quite a few vehicles. Disregard. Cancel. Continue. Alrighty, guys. So this is our Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we got new vehicles for the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. There's 13 new vehicles. We got a Crown Vic, a couple charges, a newer, older style combo. We got the uh, Tahoes. We got uh, the newer, older style Explorers, F-150, F-250, Dodge Ram, Taurus, motorcycle. We got Caprice, a Durango. So yeah, this is our, uh, our our fleet, guys. Our new fleet. Our Crown Victoria. So every every single one of these cars, I believe, can go into a slick top version. This is hard top. Also, I believe our fleet also has uh, K9 on the side, but I believe every livery can be different. Now, if we go right over here to the 20 Explorer, 20 Explorer. Is a gray livery. This is our traffic enforcement livery for the sheriff's office. So yeah, right now it's also in a park pattern. This truck, for some odd reason, is not in a park pattern, which is strange. So now all these vehicles are in a park pattern. I do not believe they sync up at all. Maybe they do. I don't know. This is not a ULC uh, thing. So now there's different stages. So like you got your park pattern. Looks like we're going to get the Durango to show you because I like that it likes the back of the Durango. And if we just uh, lower it. Now we're in our driving stage. So yeah. That is the new BCSO fleet. See you guys for the next new fleet. Alrighty guys, so this is our Los Santos Police Department fleet. Uh, yeah, I only took out one vehicle because the fleet has the same vehicles and it's the same light bar, lighting style, all that as the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Just the only thing that's different, that Los Santos Police Department is red and blue. Um, also, we got a red, white, and black livery as well to the Los Santos Police Department. Now, all the vehicles that you guys saw that's a, that was part of the BCSO is also part of the Los Santos Police Department. Except they're red and blue. Alrighty, guys, there's one more vehicle. Uh, department that we have to look at and then we're all set see you guys in a minute alrighty guys so I, I actually um, forgot there is two more departments including the one that we're about to go over right now so this department is our fleet for San Andreas game wardens which is also a red and blue department we got the f-150 we got the Dodge Ram we got a Tahoe 
Um, but yeah, this is we're gonna go first person. Do you guys see the livery? This is our game warning livery for the truck. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I left this one in uh, the code three stage. This is the part pattern for both of these vehicles. So yeah, guys, that is game warning. Now let's go over and check out the new Sandy Shores Police Department vehicles. Alrighty, everyone. So this is the Sandy Shores Police Department. This is our last fleet. This is the last thing we're going to go over and what's new in Green State Will Play. So this is the Sandy Shores Police Department uh, vehicles. We have 14 Charger, 13 Tahoe, 16 Explorer, 18 Charger, 20 Explorer, a nice 2011 Crown Vic F-150, and a Ford Taurus. Now all of these do have side runners, all of these do have spotlights, all of these do have um, running lights, uh, study rooms, and stuff like that. Uh, you can also enable disable front uh, lighting, which is pretty cool. Uh, these do not have a park pattern, so they're just running whole code three. So yeah, guys, this is the new Sandy Shores Police Department uh, fleet. A nice little livery in there, also with the red and blue. On the rear side, they also have a TA that does not uh, work. It just does the standard flashing the way, it does, the way it's doing now. So yeah, guys, that is all. And uh, we're going to wrap up this vlog's new video uh, right now. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, different style of video. Um, if you guys didn't see my community post the other day, uh, we have, I have changed up my, uh, upload schedule as it is getting to that time of year. It's very busy. I do have family. I do have kids. So yeah, it's, it's a very busy time of year. Um, so it's harder for me to upload. I also have a second channel, um, that, uh, that's not really visible right now because it has not had a video up on it. I'm hoping to get a video up on that next month. So farming simulator content. So if you guys are going to be interested in that, go ahead and let me, uh, join the my discord which the link is down in the description below so you guys can get it notified of every upload that i upload onto this channel or onto that channel also you get an up you also, you also could get an up, uh, notified about uh when my friends wolf and rando upload as well so guys this is green state roleplay we are going to go back to uh role playing videos and then the, the, the next video after this is going to be uh, something a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna try out video, see how it does. And you guys uh, responded to my latest post. So you guys, again, uh, my schedule has changed to once a week upload. So yeah, guys, thank you. Live stream, whatever I feel like it. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.